but simplify this complex fraction. To do so, I'm going to go ahead and decide on the least common denominator for all four denominators in this complex fraction, and the LCD is AB or BA. So I will multiply the numerator of the complex fraction by AB and the denominator of this complex fraction by AB. And notice why we can do that, because what is AB over AB? It's the same as 1, so what I'm doing is the same as multiplying by 1. Now when I use the distributive property, and I'm going to go ahead and show that for each one of these uh, smaller rational expressions within this complex fraction. What I have is AB times B over A minus AB times A over B all over, and then I have a, b. In other words, because of the distributive property, it gets multiplied by every single expression in the numerator and denominator, or term if you'll have it, plus a, b times 1 over a. And now watch what happens. The a's divide out, and we have b squared, b times b, minus the b's divide out, and we have a squared over the b's divide out, and we have a plus the a's divide out, and we have b. That is so much nicer, and it is a rational expression now. So let's go ahead and try and simplify. How do we simplify a rational expression? We factor numerator and denominator first. This is the difference of two squares. It factors as b minus a times b plus a. And then I'll write down that denominator. Denominator is a plus b. And now study this for a moment. Do I have any factors that are the same? The answer is yes. Don't forget addition is commutative. Order does not matter, so b plus a and a plus b are exactly the same, and they divide out, and this whole thing then simplifies to b minus a. There we go.